Hey everyone and welcome back to Tella's Cosplay Vlog. I'm Tella and tonight I'm just showing you guys an updated version of my costume. I'm not going to really wear the main piece even though I'm probably sure you guys want me to because I'm doing alterations to it right now because um, I found some loose parts of the costume that I don't like because the costume is supposed to be quite to the skin as possible. So yeah, um, not going to really show you my bodysuit yet. It's not ready. But yeah, I'm showing you the hat, which is, I think, pretty good. Um, how I made this hat was I had a regular, just kind of like a toque, or whatever this thing is really called, because it's on a toque, um, pattern. And cut it out, and then sewed it together, and then I took a picture. Hold on. Ugh. Here it is. So I took it to this picture, and it was on the computer at the time, so pretty much what I did was... <sighs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I took this tiny tape measure and measured exactly where her, how much her forehead was showing, and then measured how much my forehead was showing to get the difference, and then did all the math, and like... Cut the measurements for how far away the point was from her head, and how far it was away from the center line, and the end result is this. Hopefully you guys like it, because I quite like the hat. I think it's quite well done for me. Not trying to brag or anything, I'm just really impressed with myself. Oh, that sounds like I'm bragging. I'm seriously, I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to brag. Seriously. Um, I did make this collar that I'm going to show you guys, but I'm not sure if I'm too happy with it, so hold okay, on a second. Okay, back with the collar on. Um, I'm not really sure if I really like this collar because it's kind of messed up here, I think, for my tastes. I might make a take this as a reference, like use this as the pattern, and trace out another one that's a little bit longer in the sides so this overlaps more, and so I don't have to use weird snaps to hold it in place as much. Hopefully you can see it. I'm not very good at this whole camera thing when I can't see what I'm shooting. Okay. Um, also made the mask, as you saw in my other video when it was actually uh, latex to my face. But yeah, there's the mask. It's kind of hard to show you when it's not latex to my face. And the cuffs. Hold on, getting it on. Ah, there. Yeah, that's kind of what it will look like when it's all done. It's not done yet, as you can see. Oops, sorry. Kind of went too close. Yeah, and this is the reference picture I had. So my costume pretty much looks like this for the placement of the diamonds. Three diamonds on the butt, two diamonds on the calf, two diamonds on the shoulders, forearm, inner calf area, and three on the thigh. Um... What I have to say about this costume, for anyone who is thinking of making this costume maybe in the future, um, bodysuits are surprisingly irritating to make. I would say, for me, personally, it goes gloves and bodysuits as my most irritating things to make for me. Um, but it has been fun and it has been somewhat easy, as in, I could sew together really easy with the pattern, like sew the top to the bottom and sew the zipper and that was totally fine. And like just getting it on me, sure, fine, it was easy, but getting it to fit properly is the main issue with these types of costumes. Holy smokes, is it annoying. Oh my goodness. I guess if I wasn't such a perfectionist I probably would have been done it three or four days ago, but I am a really big perfectionist. If I'm using a reference, I want it to be as humanly possibly close to that reference as possible. That's just me though, I'm a little bit, yeah, like that. Um, I feel really silly just wearing the upper piece here. What else can I tell you guys? Um, oh yeah, if you are making this costume, remember to get a pattern for it. Um, or if you are good at making your patterns yourself, go ahead, go for it. But um, if you're not good at making patterns and you're just kind of starting out, I would suggest to you to get 
I don't know what exactly would be close to this. Um, if there is a bodysuit sort of pattern in a patterning book in your local uh, fabric shop, I'd say go look for it. But the main issues I've had with this is the crotch and the shoulder sleeves. Um, the sleeves, because I didn't get a sleeve I've pattern had to for improvise it, my sleeves because I didn't have a pattern for them. And that has caused me a lot of grief in my making this costume. Because you have to get exactly the same curve in the armhole as the sleeve. And oh my goodness, you guys, it has been a really big task to get it, like, on. It's still not there, but I've given up trying. The crotch, however, still not there, but I haven't given up trying. Um, and that's why it's over there. In a heap. Um, because I'm still working on it. Uh, do you want me to show you? I think you guys do want me to show you, don't you? Yeah. Um, should I wear it? No, it has pins in it, and I don't want to take them out. So I'll just show you guys exactly what I've done so far. So Hold I'll on show one you second. guys the back first because, well, it's just how I laid it out. So you got the three diamonds on the butt, because that's where my butt is. And then I put in a hidden zipper. Uh, there we go. Put in a hidden zipper. And goes along there. And here are the low calf diamonds and the back of the calf diamonds. Um, I'm taking in the leg, pant leg, because it was a bit too pajama-y pajama for my liking. And turn it over. And uh, one thing to note about this costume, if you are going to get the fabric like mine, um, is the red is actually a lighter material than the black. So, the stretch and the way it lies is a bit different, as well as you can see through stuff easier on the red than the black, which is kind of obvious, but just thought I'd let you guys know. Um, so the red leg likes to ride up a little bit when I'm walking, like the it goes up my ankle, and that's really annoying. Um, another note, uh, you have to hand sew these, guys, these bad boys on, so that takes me forever, and that was really annoying because I totally forgot to, that I would need to hand sew this instead of machine sew it, which would have been so much faster. But you just can't move around on like a layer of fabric like this because you'd sew both fabrics together and then you wouldn't get be able to get into the costume. Um, some people do put the diamonds on before they put it all together, but I did it this way because um, just to get the best of placement for the diamonds for me, for my body. Because um, if you put them on and then put everything together, your diamonds might be here or they might be all the way down here. Who knows? <sighs> and then the last part of the diamonds. There it is. But yeah, that is my costume so far. Hope you guys have kind of enjoyed the video. I will put up an actual video of my costume when it is done. But it's not done yet, so you guys just have to wait. Um, oh yeah, I couldn't enter the contest because as you can see I'm not done and the contest entry ends on the 5th. And I'm not going to be done by the 5th. So if you guys have entered the costume contest for comic... Um, Impact? I think it was? I forget. Uh, the link was in my other video recently that I put up. Um, if you have entered that, I hope I really hope you guys win. Um, best of luck to you. Hope you have tons of fun costuming. It's kind of getting late. And, yeah. I should get back to my costume and finish it for once. But otherwise, I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing what I've had worked on, and if you have any questions, let me know. See ya!